Oh, good, good afternoon everyone on the 16th of February 2019. I um, haven't done any videos for a while and I'm not going to be doing any washing. As you can see, nothing on the floor um, to be done. But I'm just going to give you my general overview of the with the washing machine and I'm going to give you an overview on my dryer. So you get two for, two for the price of one. And I'm just going to give you my opinion on what I think about this. Yes, I've had this since the um, beginning of July, as when my Hoover Vision Tech uh, washing machine went up the creek because of the motor. And obviously that's the only thing with brushed motors. They don't tend to last as long as the brushless ones. So, Yeah, but when I got this, this was 18 months old. The control panel along here, the buttons were all pushed in, there was a crack. Was cracking around here. The start button wouldn't do anything on any of the cycles, but um, like I say, yep, yeah, it still works. Only damn thing is, you've got to wait for it to actually turn on for any like time and LEDs to come up like that. Obviously, it's taking about 10 seconds, and yep, yeah, it still does everything you want it to. I tend to use my 59 minute one quite a bit. If I do want to fresh, it's, it's only because if I want to freshen a couple of bits up, but I don't want to like end up keep re-spinning it because this does the 1600, see this here, does the 1600 spin. Rapid, I tend to use quite a lot if I actually want to get something done quickly. Shirts I do use, dark colors not so much. Auto clean, actually I'll, I'll use, don't tend to use auto clean because of the 90 wash, I, I prefer to use a 90, that's the only thing that bugs me, when you go from auto clean to the rinse, it goes, it's like, oh, it's gone, it's like it's skipping three programs, so go to the rinse and it's got all oh, skip three programs, don't understand that bit I don't know if it's because I mean there's no damage to the PCB board but it's never affected the performance of the machine so yeah every time I, I select the cycle it actually does it goes round and yeah and obviously there we there we go oh, hang on let me put it back on I say all of the buttons press still don't get why I don't get an easy iron on a cotton for some reason and the spin speed buttons depress they press um, obviously you can't get anything on a rapid wash because I haven't got it selected um, so yeah as I say the delay the delay button still works the only thing that does get me you push the button and so, yeah you pushed it and it's not actually responding so a little bit nitpicky about that which well I'll turn it off so I can just like I say, I'm still, and another thing I'm not happy about is because if there's like too much suds in there and what happens, um, if it gets really sudsy, there's too much suds, it does actually, if it goes into a suds lock, it will not try and re-spin it, it will actually go into a rinse. Because of the sensors, it will only sense, it will sense, oh there's water in the, mach in the machine. And we've only got to put so much water in it, and it doesn't rinse properly sometimes. Fortunately, at the, for the last few times, it's not actually happened. I don't know if it's because I've, or for what reason, if it's because I'm using different detergent, or um, because I have been using different detergent other than Ariel. Um, I don't know really, cause, but I haven't experienced it. For, for a long time, but yeah, um, towels will seem to be the problem. Um, yeah, doing a duvet can be a bit awkward because when it tries to do the spin, it will literally suds lock every time. So I literally have to be here to keep an eye on it because I have I've got a little trick to actually not make it like going to straight into a rinse. But you really don't want to be doing that. You really want to be putting your whatever you've got in there, duvet, pillows, laundry, whatever, you want to go in and you want to go away, that's the whole point. But other than that, I'm pleased with it, uh, I have nothing else majorly 
wrong with it. Um, I'll probably still keep it for a few more months, but I do want to get the one with the one touch. But then again, I might not, depending on how I, how I feel about one touch. But yeah, so that's basically it for the washing machine. Now moving on to my tumble dryer. This is one of the more modern tumble dryers. As you can tell, as I mentioned before in my review, in my over is um in my review, not review, I suppose my overview, because this is a review. <laughs> yeah, is the um, the one touch. One touch, I I found to be a bit of a pain actually. Um, I've now switched my phone to a OnePlus 6T, so so I from a Galaxy S9 Plus. People may think why have I done that because. In my opinion, um, I do prefer OnePlus to a different reason, but that's a whole different. That's that's a, that's for another time. But yeah, I do like the 10 k 10 kilo drum, 10 kilo on there. But I'm just not happy. Yes, I've got laundry in there. I've got some clothes, but it's really classed as an an eight. As it's really classed as really an eight kilo drum. It's not big enough for ten. To be all honest with you. But um, the one thing, the, the one, every, I do love this dryer compared to, I did have a dryer from Bright House. Um, it was an 8 kilo, it only had four sensor dry settings, and then you had some time dry settings. It was rubbish, it was absolute rubbish. I put it on all towels, which was supposed to be the bone dry or extra dry setting. And things were still coming out damp, and I had to put it all on again, wasting more electric. This is very more accurate with the um, the sensing. You've got programs. It's not like cupboard. You put it on cupboard dry. You set the dial to hanger dry. Whatever. Obviously, when I obviously when you switch it on, the time does flash. If you've got a sensor thing. If you've got a sensor option, obviously you've got the sensor icons. Um, if you do decide to have a time dry, well, you can't on that one. If I turn it to white, obviously you can have a time selection from one hour, ten minutes. And it should go all the way up to three hours, forty minutes. Not that I actually use three hours, forty. If I do do a time dry, if I put it back onto thing, I tend to use the rapid. 30, 45 or 59 if I do want to get something dry quickly that's pretty pretty much what I do but the sensor dry ones whites is pretty much what I use I have used one touch on other programs but it seems to equate to having a whites program because it comes out with 4 hours 28 minutes um, other than that I mean as I say I have got the new um, so I did have a, a replaced uh, water tank in the door so I've, I never had an issue with the when I had my last Hoover dryer because that was Aquavision but I do find it does actually get everything dry my only problem is I don't know I might have to try and tweak some things out or find out where the NFC is on my OnePlus 6T it's the one touch it can be an absolute pain and I'm I do like innovative technology the one reason why I wanted to use it is because of the programs that are on here that I do, do tend to use I tend to use on the app and also it's got clever care so if anything so it kind of diagnoses itself and if there's anything wrong so just make sure the machine's in working order but other than that I do actually I do actually like this dryer I've got, got no issues with it one small problem is do not use your index fingers Apparently, it's best to. I mean, I can use my index finger, but they say to use your thumb better, really. I don't, don't ask why. It just, just one of them things. That's what the one of the Hoover engineers advised me: use your thumbs because you've got more. Because this doesn't cover as much as this, so you've got more of an area to cover, rather than just a little. So yeah, because I think Hoover have not really done many touch panel um, appliances. So yeah, other than that, they're, the, they're the, my only kind of niggles is the one touch. I think it's only since I've like kind of, it can be a little bit of fiddly 
would be nice if they had it. Um, if it was better, a better NFC technology. I, th I think being this is one of the first NFC tumble dryers compared to, I think, the newer ones now. Um, I think even the newer one touch washing machines but still I will I will I, I will update that one I will have the one with one touch because it's got programs for bedding it's got bedding bedding and you've got bath robes and you've got ones for duvets whereas I've only got I don't really have anything for a duvet I don't have anything for for for, for what other, for like other giving yourself like many other options so yeah, so other than that, that is my review, not overview shall I say, of the both my washing machine and my dryer. So hopefully you'll find this helpful, so if you ever do get this appliance or if you've got it second hand, because obviously this does, is not in shops anymore, so you will have this second hand. This one you probably might not be able to get depending on the model, which I'll put in the, um, in the description. So yeah, well thank you for the time for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.